let's take a look at WVTT Sports. Superstorm Sandy had put the Knicks Nets showdown in Brooklyn on hold for three weeks. Monday, the two teams finally squared off in the Nets' new home. Carmelo Anthony put on a show. He led all scores with 35 points, but Brooklyn forced overtime. And Jerry Stackhouse hits the tie-breaking three-pointer to give the Nets the lead for good. They'd go on to win 96-89. It was two of the NFC's worst for Monday Night Football. The Panthers taking on the Eagles. No Michael Vick or LaShawn McCoy available for Philadelphia. Bryce Brown filled in for McCoy. And he set a team record with 178 yards on the ground and scored two touchdowns. But Cam Newton sparked the Panthers. Cam threw for two touchdowns and ran for two more. Carolina gets the win 30-22. The Eagles have lost seven in a row. Back to the hardwood with the Bobcats at the Thunder. No problem here for OKC. Russell Westbrook slammed home two of his 12 points, and the Thunder led by 40 at the half. The last team with a 40-plus point halftime lead was in 1991, when Golden State led Sacramento by 47. Final score of this blowout, 114 to 69, the biggest loss in Bobcats history. In terms of win-loss records, it's one of the NBA's best versus the worst. Spurs at the Wizards. This one went about as expected. San Antonio led by as many as 29 and had seven double-digit scores. This included Tony Parker, who had 15 points. Spurs, the first team to 12 wins. Wizards stay winless. 118-92, the final score. With Headline Sports, I'm Carlos Diaz. Let's take a look now at our community calendar. The Alfred University Gospel Choir will perform its concert on Thursday, December 6th at 7.30 p.m. in the Knights Center at the Powell Campus Center, excuse me, the Knights Club at the Powell Campus Center again, December 6th at 7.30 what do you think about that, Jeff? Sounds good, Alexa. <laughs> if you'd like to be a WVTT tipster, there's lots of ways to do it. Whether your group or nonprofit organization has an item of interest for our community calendar or you see news happening, call us up at 372-9564 in Olean or email us, tweet us, or find us on Facebook. Finally tonight, chaos broke out at a school. Parents were the ones misbehaving. A woman finds a print worth thousands at Goodwill. And the latest video that we'll have you talking is right now. And take a look at this. Take a look at this. On your mark, get set, go. A stampede broke out in Greenville County, South Carolina after parents rushed to get their kids registered at the school of their choice. The competitive group of parents camped out for days. To me, as a father, I definitely want my kids to have better opportunities than I've ever had. A woman was knocked down and had to be hospitalized. Her injuries were not serious. More than 700 students from an elementary school in Alexandria, Louisiana, got into the Christmas spirit Monday. The children were decked in red or white to be part of a human peppermint display for the school's Christmas photo. We pride ourselves of sending a unique Christmas card every year. And we got together this year and wanted to uh, make a very special greeting. It's our way of saying thank you and Merry Christmas. And Christmas may have come early for a Wisconsin woman. Karen Millay paid a little over 12 bucks for a print she found at a Goodwill store. She noticed the work of art was signed by a famed abstract artist. I looked down and I saw the, the signature and I thought, Calder, Alexander Calder maybe? Malay took the print to an appraiser and discovered the piece is worth $9,000. For Take a Look at This, I'm April Williams. Okay, Alexa, I have to ask, if you had seen that print, whether it's at Goodwill, a flea market, or, or anywhere else, are you like me? You would have just walked right by it, right? I'm not too much of an art enthusiast. <laughs> but yeah, I, I mean, picture's a picture, a picture. Yeah, know, never, never would have guessed that, a, uh, you know, close-up of a zebra or whatever. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. Yep, uh, my, uh, my uh, take on that would have been exactly the same. Well, let's take a look at the WVTT Severe Weather Action Team forecast right now as we zoom in on the Twin Tiers. Here's meteorologist Jim Rinaldi. 
Now the Twin Tiers official forecast. Tonight winds are going to shift around to the west and northwest, bringing in chillier air. We're going to see rain showers change into snow showers by daybreak, a low of 34 degrees. A notably cold today for tomorrow with clouds and a couple of snow showers, high temperature 38. Mostly sunny skies as fed into Thursday as high pressure builds in, the high temperature around 40. Then the next front heads our way for Friday with mostly cloudy skies and a couple of showers and a high temperature of 44 degrees. I'm WVTT Surveyor Action Team Meteorologist Jim Rinaldi and WVTT. Depend on it. Thank you, Jim, and thanks so much for watching tonight. For everybody here at News Channel 25, I'm Jeff Andrelonis. And I'm Alexa Olson. Thanks for watching and have a great night.